Okay guys, you have waited incredibly patiently for these and these are my predictions for P2 2017 for Edexcel exams. Please remember that I am not an examiner, I am just a teacher. So these are educated guesses from sitting down with the exam papers, the specification and the examiner's reports to what I think is going to come up on the exam. But one thing we do know with P2 is that it is going to be very, very maths heavy. So about 40% of the paper is going to be math skills. Now these aren't necessarily very, very complicated math skills, but you do need to know all of your units. Okay. It is going to be basically impossible for you to pick the right equation to answer the question fully if you don't know all of your units. So please, please, please learn all of your units. I cannot stress this enough. Rearranging equations and non-standard units are also going to be really important on the higher tier because it's not just going to be as simple as the foundation tier. Foundation tier generally, especially at the beginning of the paper, you find the numbers and you times them by each other. Okay, so then you have to do a little bit of dividing. On the higher tier, you're going to have to rearrange equations, you're going to have to convert units between standard and non-standard units. These are all really, really important skills if you want to be accessing those top grades. Now I think this year's paper is going to start with potentially forces, potentially electricity. Both of these are quite big topics. Now the advantage that you have is that there are loads and loads of past papers out there and especially for forces there are only a limited number of questions they can ask. So go and look at the past papers, go and look at the six mark questions on the past papers. This is a great place to get um, loads and loads of revision tips, loads and loads of techniques for forces because the same questions come up over and over again. For electricity, don't forget this actually covers quite a lot here. So um, your circuits, um, loads and loads of equations in here and static electricity as well. What LXL love doing is giving you some graphs, putting you in an unknown situation and asking you to analyse the graphs, asking you to apply the knowledge you've learned in class to work out what is going on with the graph. So be prepared for that. And you can practice this, you can um, prepare for this, but the most important thing is to not be freaked out by this in the exam. If you see something that isn't immediately familiar, just try and apply the skills that you've learned, apply logic. Don't forget to use the formula sheet as well. Sometimes the formula sheet can give you answers to non mathsy questions and bring all of this in and try and answer the question in a calm and logical manner because they're not going to give you anything that you can't do. They're going to give you hard things but nothing that's impossible. The other thing that Edexcel do quite a lot are long questions. So there might be a load of information in a block out of text, maybe a picture or something, part A, part B, part C and part D. And then by the time you've got to part D you've forgotten about reading the, the block of text at the beginning. But sometimes part D needs information from the block of text at the beginning. So don't answer all the questions individually. If it's like question D3, answer question three as a whole. That way you're gonna get all of the information, bringing it all together so that you don't miss anything out. This is more likely to happen towards the end of the paper because it's a slightly trickier skill. Picking up on things you read maybe five minutes, two minutes before and recalling the fact that you need to bring them all the way down to the bottom of the question and use them then. You may even have to flip over a couple of pages to find the information that you need. Six markers this year. Um, I think atomic structure and radioactivity is going to be a good one for a six marker. Um, I think energy or momentum are going to be a good one for six markers as well. Um, momentum could also come as a really, really tricky maths question. Um, so that's what I think for this year's papers, but these are just educated guesses, guys. So please, please, please revise absolutely everything and good luck.